Dude, it's such a wonderful day today. I was gonna try to make a YouTube intro, but I think we'll just uh, get into the video, y'all. So, today is a wonderful day. Wonderful. Is today Saturday? Yeah, today's Saturday. So, I haven't made a video in a while. A lot has happened since uh, you last seen the video of the Papi Chulo vlogs with the Lexus. Where's the Lexus at? It's over there. Right there. Doing real good. Since then, uh, a lot has changed on the Lexus and my life, actually. But, yeah, I bought another car. I bought this 97 Civic Hatch. Um, nothing major, some for the kids. Ordered a couple parts for it because needed new brakes. Um, on these models, they didn't come with a... Um, it didn't come with a tack, so I ordered a Honda CRV tack. Uh, same year, so I'm gonna go ahead and install that now. We're in the Civic. This is the current cluster, as you can see. The temp is on the left, and there's no tack. But the CRV one has the temperature on this side, on the right, and the tack is over here on the left. So. Let me get that out and start taking this apart. Let me just remove the quick release steering wheel so you can have better access. You're gonna have to take these two screws up here. Lighting's not too great. This screw up here and this screw and they're both Phillips head screws so let me do that right now. do is pull on this thing um, there's two clips so you kind of got to do it hard pull down and back and it should pop right out so goes the cluster bezel let me see let me see if I can show you there's a screw right here and then there's one up here and the other one is up here so let me put the camera down and I'll do that next. Take the first screw out. Oh, and if you didn't know, um, the CRV dash is apparently just plug and play. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it works. Um, in a lot of other videos, people swap uh, SI Type R clusters in here, CRV, or they'll just get a cluster from an EX because they had um, tax on them too, but we'll see if that is true. These two more screws out. So I got all four out, and I'm just gonna take this out slowly. You don't want to ruin your clear plastic part I'm going around this. I have to angle it down a little bit. This is the way I'm doing it at least. Just pull it out. So disconnect these two plugs. There should be three plugs on here. If you have a a 97 and it doesn't have like cruise control or anything, because I think that's what the fourth one is. And there's a yellow one down here, and that's it. Uh, clusters out. Um, let's plug the new one back in. So there's two blue plugs that went on the top of the cluster. These two. This one goes on the left, this one goes on the right, and then the yellow one is on the bottom. Um, so yeah. Let me show you what the new one looks like. So it's got the two clips, one here, one there. Those are the two blue ones. And then it's got this yellow clip as well. And I believe the other two, this orange one and this green one, are for the cruise control and the ABS. But um, this model does not have those two, so we won't be needing those clips. Let me just plug it back in and we'll see if it works. Stuff on there. 
So what I'm figuring out is easier to do is lay the um, cluster down, angle it just a little bit so you can plug the um, plugs back into the cluster. It's a little hard um, with it completely facing back. So. so we got the two and then we got the yellow one back there. It's simple plug and play. Let's put the keys in and see what's going on here. We got lights going on. Let me turn it on and see if it what works. Why so big? Well, tax working. Gas is not working. The temp, we'll see about the temp right now. Oh my god. Actually, is gas going up? Is it? Yeah, I think so. Let me see. <laughs> CRV cluster's working. Uh, let me screw it back in and we'll take it for a drive to see if it really drive? works. Yes, for a drive. A test drive? A test drive, brother. You, you just knocked your thing over. It's all right. So let me screw everything back in and uh, we'll see if this puppy really works. Here's the cluster, fully installed. Got all the screws back in. Um, I'll drive around. Hopefully the gas gauge will work, but um, we'll see. All right. We're going to... Drive this thing away. Uh, let's see if it works. So far, the gas went up a little bit. <laughs> Oops. Emma, we won't add that in, but we almost died. <laughs> we almost just died coming off the curb. Alright. Yeah, gas is slowly going up, temps going up looks good so here's an actual proof that you can change out the clusters and they work perfectly fine so yeah very happy with the install are we happy Emma yeah sounds good let's go back home that's uh, pretty much it for the cluster this really isn't a how-to video this is more of like a vlog so I'll be doing more work to the Civic and to the Lexus been a while since I filmed anything about the Lexus. Yeah, here's the Civic. It's nothing much. Just a EK hatch, EJ6, whatever you want to call it. But um, got some Advans I want to put on the Lexus. Um, I think one of the wheels welded. It's got a crack in it. But I also want to find. Some TE 37s for the rear, so I don't run RPF ones and TEs in the front. So we'll do that. Um, that's coming soon, and actually probably do a brake video. Today is a new day. I just added some oil to the Lexus. I haven't driven it in like a month since I bought the Civic. But yeah, I just topped it off with some oil. Off some oil. Let's see if it starts. Hopefully, it starts. Hopefully, the battery's not dead. It's nothing special. Law. So apparently you have to pay a thousand dollars to get it taken off or paid off or whatever. My car straight pipe. Straight pipe pop. Gotta get the advents on it soon though. Soon. The clutch feels so weird on this car, man. Clutch, ice 300 clutches are so weird. Let's take this baby out. Love it. Bye.